hello greetings again welcome um and so we're just walking walking around the, the garden and we've just come across these two interesting trees that are in the same family and uh with me i have mrs zeta uh -huh. and uh mrs zeta to help me um sort of uh, break down what's going on here so what are we looking at from here from this point of view all right uh probably what i can say is this is about acacias yeah so probably yeah this is about this were used to known as they were known as acacias yeah, yeah. but of course uh there, there are some trains which were named uh, which have been actually yeah. uh yeah Actually, the changes are in that uh, the species which are indigenous to yeah. indigenous to Australia, yeah. but most of the acacia they came from Australia. Yeah, but the, the exotic ones, ones yeah. yeah, exotic ones they are yeah. from Australia. So those ones which are native to Australia, uh, they are the wild trees remained with the name yeah. or with the genus of acacia. acacia. Yeah, and then the, these are which, these ones which are native to Africa. Africa. They they been changed to Australia. So you. you Actually, find out that this one used to be called the, the acacia sandal floor, yeah. but from, they've been changed to Australia sandal floor, which is a stripper tree. Oh. So I think the, the, the change is on the on the region that one. Yeah. Those from Australia, they still remain with the name acacia, with the genus acacia, yeah. and these ones from Africa, they changed to Australia. So you find that this one is Australia. Yeah. That's quite a lot of confusion really that comes out of that um, MOD we now we have. So uh, how do we teach our children uh, on changes? We grew up knowing this is a different name and the name has changed, but we, we actually don't know the changes that, um, that is sort of public there. Uh, so it has a different name and it's no longer called Akeshi as we want to know it. And um, whether we have consulted or whether we have consulted or not, I, that's a story for another day. But um, um, we've got to quite address just another one, you know, all two different. And we, we, we struggled to, to identify the name of this one because of the changes that have come in that we were out of our control. So there we are, what, when you change names, and we can't name trees now. Um, but it's an interesting sort of uh, family here. Two different acacias growing together. And uh, oh, you know, do you think they will pollinate each other? Here we go. So that's it. So we have a different um, uh, names that have come up with two different acacias and we have learned a few things out of these two trees. And uh, thank you very much, Mr. Zeta, for that information. Yeah, so thank you very much, Mr. Zeta. And uh, here again, to the great trees of Zimbabwe. Bye.